Good morning, everyone. It's so great to see all of your beautiful faces. Thank you for joining me today. We've got kind of a busy day today. You know what? You know how I roll, just mainly work orders. Haven't even pulled keys yet. Just got an emergency call, or the on call tech said they got an emergency call. Water coming through the bathroom ceiling. The resident was not home above, so I had to go pull a key. I had the office call them. We do have permission to enter. Even if we didn't, when it's a situation where water's coming through the ceiling, I usually just go in anyway. I just like to give them a heads up, so depending on where you work, you don't get shot. No water on the floor. Let's see if this is wet. This is not wet. Weird. Change a little pause. Diverter's not fully engaging. None of this would cause a leak though. A lot of flashing. Not enough to go downstairs. Let's see if the toilet's leaking. Shower head seems good. Toilet seems good. Check under here. This hose is set up to siphon because someone jammed it down in there, but that's not going to cause a leak downstairs. I can fix this pretty fast though. These are the worst calls. Nothing is evident, nothing is jumping out, nothing is leaking. I'm ruling out the unit upstairs. It wouldn't, it wouldn't sit like that right in the middle of the bathroom. One last thing I'm gonna try, which I think it might be, is the wax ring from the toilet upstairs. So we're gonna swap that out. Still This wax ring was never set correctly. You can see water inside of there. When the toilet flushed, there just a little bit was getting through, going downstairs. Although nothing was evident, everything was happening in here. I'm gonna remove this old wax ring. So I'm probably gonna get some crap for this, but I'm gonna double up on wax rings that way I know it's going to seal and I know it's not going to leak. Maybe move back and forth a little bit. And I'm gonna go check downstairs, make sure everything's good and that it's not still leaking. I'm not gonna tell the resident, hey, um, it was leaking from the bottom of the toilet. I'm just gonna say something along the lines it was leaking from a supply line. I took a picture of that wax ring. I'm gonna send this to the technician that originally diagnosed this problem last week and missed it. Uh, it's not to knock the guy for missing this. This is a tough one when you can't find it, it's evident. I was able to find it because I've done this before. I've ran into this problem before. It's not the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or millionth time I've done it. I've done it several times. So that's kind of why I was leaning towards the wax ring. So I'm just gonna send them the picture and say, hey, this is what I found. Hope this helps you in the future. The towels aren't soaked. Oh, it wasn't a bad leak. I'm gonna fill this up with hot water. I got a good feeling I know what this is. And then I'm just gonna drain it. But they're saying it's overflowing when there's no cycle selected. If we look here, this is from upstairs. And if you look there, there's another tie-in. So, 
there's probably a clog somewhere down here and too much soap's coming down this pipe so it's backing up right here. We're just filling this to the top with hot water. Then we're gonna drain it. Two gallons of hot water. not that bad all right so I'm gonna take this water hose I'm gonna remove it I've got the water shut down I'm gonna trickle some hot water down in here I'm gonna run the auger through here while the hot water is running to break up whatever's down there because it's backing up and I need to stop it from backing up there's a clog somewhere I have my auger ready to go I got a bucket sitting below the the clean out in case someone drains their laundry from up above then i've got some rags there where i can plug the hole to minimize the water coming out should someone do this while i'm snaking it i'm going to run the snake about 15 feet and run it until the cable turns black then i'm going to run it back down and that's when i'm going to just stick it in neutral and run the hot water <laughs> I've only went about 10 feet and we're already, you can see it's brown and then it gets deep, deep into the grease. So I'm gonna trickle some water, some hot water. I've got that hose shoved all the way down the drain. And it's kind of trickling down the side. As you can see. Water's not staying in there. It keeps coming out. All right, I think I made some good progress. clean out back on I'm gonna run upstairs about three floors up fill the washer to the top with hot water and then drain it I'm gonna have a co-worker down here on the phone with me and he's gonna let me know if water starts overflowing I mean there's never been a problem with the washer draining from here it's when it's draining from the units above when there's a problem even if I run this full blast with hot water it's still not going to recreate the problem that we're getting why this unit keeps flooding randomly in the middle of the night. So we filled the washer a couple floors up and let the water go down. No issues with it backing up. Hopefully that takes care of this problem. Off to the next work order. But before we do that, this property that I'm working at today and most of the other vlogs in the past, we are hiring for a maintenance to technician up to $24 an hour, 10 vacation days a year starting off, nine paid holidays, three floating days, six sick days. Awesome health benefits. I've been with the company nine years. Um, they take care of their employees for the most part. Everyone has their ups and downs and reasons they don't like a company and disagreements, but this one's been pretty legit. Off to the next work order. Gotta make sure that this fan comes on. Fuck, I better see.
completely plugged. Nothing's getting through this. Wow. Oh, that was a good one. So I put this work order in last week, um, just didn't have time to do all of it as it was the end of the day on a Friday, so I'm gonna take care of it now. Lines are down. I think I see what's going on. Strings got tangled up. This bracket is also loose. So it's locking. Well, everything seems fine. I do want to fix this bracket though. I don't like that. That one's loose too over there. I'll tighten both of these up. Much better. So working in a high rise, you get a lot of these calls where hot water, water's not getting hot fast enough or whatnot um i usually just gotta explain to the tenant that the building works off of boilers and sometimes it takes the water quite a quite a while to reach the apartment now it may seem like it's a energy waste or water consumption using a lot of water but the energy cost it saves to heat up water for you know 300 units kind of outweighs that water waste so call it anyways there's um there's a ton of work orders left but they're all Pretty boring, I'm um, not really gonna focus on that right now. I've got some tools in, or I got some stuff in that I ordered. Let's go see what I, let's go see what I got. All right, so I got a cheater cord. Comes in handy for roofs that don't have outlets. This is a $20 one I got off Amazon. And I also bought a spade set, paddle bits. I just needed some smaller ones. Um, might throw this in the backpack, add a, add a little bit of more weight to the backpack. It's not heavy enough. That's what I got this week. This cheater cord. I'm gonna go right in my little HVAC slash meter bag. Coils look pretty good. Filter's not bad. Anytime I get a air conditioning complaint or a smell complaint coming from the vents, whether it looks like it or not, I just clean the coil and clean the drain pan. What I use and I love is Triple D. We bought like five jugs of these like eight years ago and still got plenty of jugs left. This stuff goes a long way. 
I'm just going to use a little bit, barely one ounce, and fill this up about to the 20 ounce mark. And then I'm just going to use all this on that coil and drain pan. I'm also going to replace the filter just in case some old odors are sitting in that filter. That filter didn't look bad, but I don't want to call back on this. And this usually solves the problem when I do the combination of these two things. So the smell that I'm smelling right now is a wet coil. It smells very mildewy and I can usually fix this just by doing what I said I was going to do. Get this back side. Now I'm just going to fill this up with plain old water and rinse it very well. I got this pan all clean, coils clean, and put everything back together. Slide in the new filter. I'm pretty sure that this is going to solve the issue. This is just insurance. It's one of the best odor killers I've ever used. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this to go through the ductwork. Not too much, you don't need a lot. And let that run for about two minutes while I fill out this maintenance tag. And then this work order will be done. parts the other day. Ordered a bunch of parts. Let's see what we got in. I ordered 40 of these light bulbs. They just sent me two more. Thanks HD. guys I am clocked out I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today doing all these work orders it's always a pleasure makes the day go by faster and it's much more enjoyable until the next vlog I'm Dave hope to see you there <laughs>